Yes. No. Sure. No way. What's up? How are you? I'm Steve. I hope you're doing great today. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to look at 23 ways to agree or disagree with people that you're speaking to in English. Uh, there's a lot of different variations, and I think you'll enjoy getting to know some of the nuances uh, and using them in everyday language. Let's hop in. All right, this video doesn't need much introduction. Saying yes or no, agreeing or disagreeing, it's uh, common in every language, every culture. There are times when you are uh, asking someone a question and you just want their yes or no answer. Uh, there's times when you have to make decisions and you may say yes or no, or I agree or I disagree. So lots of different options. Let's hop right in. All right, uh, let's start with the agreement column. Uh, things that you're agreeing with. And I'll put one through six together. Uh, so number one is yes. And then you have yep. Yup. Then you have yeah. And then uh-huh and duh. So yes is absolutely the most common. It's the basic way to agree with someone. Yes. You can say it forcefully or you can say it casually, uh, sort of lightly. But yes, it's a very, very standard and the most popular way. Yep is an even more informal or casual way uh, to do it. Um, I wouldn't say to my boss at work, yep, uh, I'll get that report to you, sir, uh, because uh, yep is, is a little too casual, but I would say it to friends or family. Yup with a U, Y-U-P, that's uh, basically the same thing as yep. It's even more playful. Um, it's sort of like you're being silly. If somebody says, hey, Steve, did you take the garbage out? I could say, yup, yup. And I'm just sort of goofing off and playing around, but I'm really saying yep or yes. Uh, then you have yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one of those along with the next one, which I'll give you, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah and uh-huh are very much uh, frowned upon or looked down upon by serious English teachers um, or anyone else who feels like your, your speech and your action should be a bit more refined. Um, uh, I use it with friends or family. Again, if somebody said, um, hey, Steve, I'd say, uh, yeah, or uh-huh, mm-hmm. I could even close my mouth, mm-hmm, and make it with M's, you know, instead of U-H, H-U-H, I could say, mm-hmm. Uh, it's a very standard and easy way just to acknowledge somebody or to agree with someone. And then the last one of this bunch is duh. Duh, this is uh, not the best term to use. It's You can use it jokingly with a friend, uh, but duh sort of means um, like, yeah, yeah, I know that. So if somebody said, uh, Steve, did you know the new Star Wars movie came out? I could say, duh. It's my way of saying yes, but I'm also telling the other person, what a dumb question. So it's not really great to use. All right, we'll move through the rest of these pretty quickly. Number seven, I agree, I agree. So if somebody said, uh, Steve, chocolate is the best ice cream in the world. I'd say, I agree, I agree. Number eight and nine, me too, me too, or me also, me also. Uh, so they said, hey, I love going to the beach. I'd say, me too, me too. I'm agreeing with them. I'm basically saying, me also, me also. I, w I don't use that phrase, but I've heard people use it. So most of these people say, me too, me too. It's a way of saying, I'm right there with you. 10 and 11, absolutely, absolutely, and you know it, you know it. These are great because you're really expressing confidence. You're saying, absolutely. It's, it's another way of saying, yes. You know, the tone of your voice absolutely means you are positive, you are confident. Uh, and it's a great way. So both of those phrases uh, express confidence in how you want to agree with someone. And then I'll put 12, 13, and 14 together. Sure, or sure thing, or of course. So sure is uh, uh, very similar to saying yes uh, or absolutely, saying sure, sure. Um, there's another version of sure in the English language that means I am um, I am positive of something or confident of something, like meaning I am sure that if I uh, walk out into the street, I could get hit by a car. 
That's not what we're talking about here. Sure in this context means uh, yes. So if I say sure, um, I'm agreeing with them. If I say sure thing, um, it's just an added word. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it came to be, but if, if, if somebody says, uh, hey, will you please come here to the kitchen? I'd say sure thing. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what the thing is. I guess I'm referring to going to the kitchen, but that's a way to say it. And then lastly, of course, of course. Uh, this is a way of expressing not only yes or agreement, but I'm always happy to do that. You know, of course I'll help you. Of course I'd be willing to do that. Uh, it's really saying like, absolutely, I'm right there with you. It's, it's my pleasure. All right, so let's move to the negative side, the disagreements. The first three are very similar. No, no way, and nope. Uh, so no, uh, again, like yes, it's the opposite of yes. It's just saying no, no. Uh, you can say it uh, nicely and say no, or you could say it a bit mean and say no. Uh, so a lot of uh, the way that you pronunciate it uh, or enunciate it um, uh, means a lot. Uh, no way is an even stronger way. Say no way, no way. Uh, that means like a double no, like I, I don't want to do that. If you say, hey, uh, uh, would you like to go jogging tomorrow and go exercising at 4 a.m.? I'd say, no way, no way. Uh, I could even laugh while I say it. It basically means um, I don't think so. Uh, and then nope is a version of no or no way, uh, but it's a bit more comical and playful. Uh, so if somebody said, uh, do you want to go jogging at 4 a.m. in the morning? I'd say, nope, nope. Uh, it's just a, a funny way to say no. All right, I'll put four and five here together. Uh-uh and not happening. Uh-uh, not happening. Uh, these are more ways to disagree with someone. Uh-uh is a bit like uh-huh on the agreement side, you know, when you're trying to say yes. This one, uh-uh or mm, mm Again, you can do it with your mouth closed and use sort of the M sound, mm, -mm. It's my way of saying, nope, uh, I'm not going to do it. Uh, and then not happening is very similar. Like it means it will not happen. The thing you're asking me to do or agree to, uh, I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. So I say not happening. It's, it's a shorter phrase. There's no uh, verb in there, but um, you get the picture. Mm -mm. No way. Nope. Not happening. And number six and seven are very similar. Uh, no chance and there's no way. Uh, so again, do you want to go jogging tomorrow at 4 a.m.? Uh, I'd say no chance, no chance. That's very uh, similar with not, uh, not happening. Or you could say there's no way. Uh, I could say there's no way I'm getting up that early. <laughs> and lastly, uh, number eight and nine. Number eight is slightly confident and number nine is very confident. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Or I don't believe so. This one leaves open the possibility that I'll change my mind. So if you said, do you want to go jogging at 4 a.m. in the morning? I'd say, I don't think so. Uh, the, my friend who asked me may go, hmm, he said, I don't think so. I'm going to keep trying. Come on, really come. Come with me. I'd say, no, I don't think so. They keep going until I finally get firm. And that would lead me to the next one, which is, uh, I disagree. Now, I disagree is probably not the right answer to the jogging question, but somebody could say, uh, vanilla is the best ice cream of all time. Vanilla is the best flavor of ice cream. And I'd say, I disagree. If I said, I don't think so, um, it may leave the door open for me to change my mind. Uh, I disagree basically says, I flat out disagree. Chocolate is my favorite. So what do you think? 23 different ways to agree or disagree with people. Uh, tell me which one is your favorite, which one feels most natural to you, uh, which ones you're just learning for the first time or just hearing for the first time. And as always, leave some comments on what you'd like to see in my future English lessons. I'd love to hear ideas so that I can uh, bring them to you. All right, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.